Welcome to ISE's Equity Index Weekly Outlook, a weekly outlook on ISE and other industry indexes, hosted by Patrick Ceresna, a derivative market specialist and investment manager with extensive expertise in options and the broader derivative markets. ISE trades options on more than 15 proprietary sector indexes, as well as broad-based indexes and a variety of licensed benchmarks. ISC continually enhances its trading systems and develops new index options products to provide investors with the best marketplace and investment tools to trade smarter. Hello and welcome to the ISC Equity Index Outlook for May 18, 2009. This is Patrick Serezna. First off, I want to take a look at the S&P 500 using that Spider Exchange Trade Fund symbol SPY. And uh, like last week, we expected that re uh, the market to reject in this 92.95 zone. We got that rejection perfectly and spent the week more or less consolidating downwards. So now that we got the pullback that we're looking for toward that 85.87 zone, how does this whole thing play out? Well, I have three scenarios. And, and uh, the first scenario I'm going to give is the one that I actually believe will play out. Uh, and uh, that would be the fact that we find support level in this 85, 87 zone and see one more rally going into June that more than likely will have us back up into the 92, 95 zone. Uh, this here is uh, the scenario that I anticipate to happen as, as it rarely uh, will we see just a top come in like this and just uh, the sell cycle begin strong from there. Uh, the other uh, scenario that we can't rule out, which I don't think is very probable, but we, it was certainly something that can happen, would be the fact that the market finds support and actually makes one more bullish push all the way up into that 100, 102 zone on the upside before we see the bear market rally end. Now, again, this is not the scenario I'm expecting, but it really, if we see uh, support come in here and some very strong price action rally, uh, then we, uh, at that point, we'll have to start visiting this idea. The third scenario, which I also don't think is probable, but we also can't rule it out, is the fact that we have a, a this sell-off begin right here with a little bit of intensity, and uh, and it breaks below that 85, 87 zone and does not have the strength to get back above it. In that scenario, the market becomes quite bearish quickly, uh, and we may be already looking into market weakness into that June-July cycle. Uh, again, the scenario that I think is likely is going to be a retest of the previous highs, but uh, we're going to watch uh, this week's price action to see if we can get the clues as to how this will play out. Next here, I want to take a look at the ISC U.S. Regional Banks Index, which is the symbol JLO. And um, the Regional Banks Index rejected perfectly up in that 20.5 to 21.5 focal point we've been talking about for the last couple of weeks. And uh, we started actually qu uh, quite an intense um, uh, consolidation, uh, which is pulling uh, right back down. Uh, we're watching that 15, 16 focal point below. Uh, we, we do anticipate at some stage there should still be one more rally whether it makes a higher high or whether it fails in the 18 19 dollar range i'm not certain uh, but nonetheless we we are probably looking for some topping formations to start occurring here on the jlo over the upcoming weeks next here i want to take a look at the isc syndex which is the symbol sin this is an index of all the casino tobacco and distiller companies and uh, there this rally that we've seen since the march 9th bottom has been very robust and has uh, exceeded all sorts of measurements on the upside we were looking to see where the first stall would be we now definitely have gotten a market stall near the $100 price on the index and uh, and the market rejected off that level consolidating all the way back down to that 84 86 focal point that we've been watching so really at this stage um, it, again when whenever we come off a major top like that uh, or overhead resistance rarely does it not have a retest so uh, even though we're pulling back here and we may even see a, a pullback that may even go deeper we are at some stage expecting one more uh, push back up uh, whether it exceeds those highs I'm not certain but uh, but uh, at some stage we're going to be also looking for that topping formation to start forming up at these higher levels now when we take a look at the ISC Home Builders Index, which is the symbol RUF, we also seen a rejection up at that nine to nine and a quarter focal point we've been talking about, and now a, a good intense sell-off coming off that those highs. Uh, we are looking for support levels to initially be holding in the seven, seven and a half area. Uh, and uh, and really at that some stage there will probably be a counter rally off of some sort of support levels below here, uh, and then we'll start looking for that topping formation as well in here. 
Next here, I want to take a look at the ISC Natural Gas Index, which is the symbol FUM. And this one we have a little bit of a different scenario for. Um, we uh, had a pullback coming off that 90.95 focal point, never quite reached it, but it did make the push higher there. We're now seeing a retracement. Now, the uh, natural gas uh, uh, being a commodity has really had a bullish run based on uh, on the declining U.S. dollar. And, and if we, in fact, see a continuation of the U.S. dollar downtrend uh, and we continue to see strengthening in um, the commodity sectors, uh, then we should see uh, the natural gas index here find support somewhere between the 72 to 76 zone uh, in that blue box. Uh, if we do see um, the support levels hold in here and the market uh, turn back up, we uh, probably will not only see a retest back up into the 9095 zone, but we can't rule out the possibility of a bigger picture rally coming in here. And finally, I want to take a look at the ISC Mini FTSE 100 index, which is the symbol UKX. Uh, we also uh, saw a rally that pushed just under that 455, 465 upper focal point that we were targeting. And we're now seeing that little flagging or pullback come down into that 420, 430 support. We're now uh, going to be very interested to see whether or not the support levels hold here. Uh, we do probably an anticipate at least one more retest back up into those previous highs uh, as we again are probably going to be seeing some sort of a topping formation coming in here. That was your IC Equity Index Outlook. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. For more information about Patrick Ceresna and to sign up for free index options trade alerts, visit www.optionsource.net. To learn more about ISE index options, visit us at www.ise.com slash indexoptions.